I'm so sorry, Frisco. I really don't know what I expected. I guess I just hope she'd wake up one day and say, I'm in bed with the wrong guy. Well, I'm your friend. And I love you. And I want you to know that after what you've been through, I understand how you feel. And I'm never going to ask any questions. It's a really hard thing to deal with. Watching three people you love and care about is locked in a situation like this. It's difficult to know what to say. What's that? Let's go. Thank you so much. Bye, Frisco. you were dead. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too, honey. Mommy told me you were in that prison. How'd you get away from it? Well, I was just lucky, I guess. Well, that's because you're so smart. Right, Mom? Right. Now I have my favorite godfather back. Well, you bet you do. I have to apologize. I know I'm a little behind in my godfatherly duties. <laughs> Let's see, uh, the movies, we have to catch up on all the movies. The zoo, probably. And... Well, yeah, we can do all those things now. But there's one thing that I'm very, very confused about. Well, join the crowd. Well, I guess you're confused, too. Me about Felicia. Yes, I am confused. I know when she married Colton that you're supposed to be dead. So what happens now? What's supposed to happen? Well, you know, Robin, I don't have the answer for that. But somebody's going to get hurt, probably. And it may be all three of us. See that? Now, you know who the three people are that are involved. And you love them very much. So I think we should just let them sort it out, don't you? I know, but how? I mean, I don't want any of you to be hurt. Would you look at you? You know, when I left here, you were about this tall. You have turned into quite a young lady, haven't you? Turn around here. Look at this hair. What do you call this when it has the waves and stuff? A perm. A perm. I see. Well, <clears throat> now that you're a young lady, you know that grown-ups don't always have the answers, right? Yeah, I know. Can you tell me what it was like in that prison? Darling, no. Well, maybe I'll tell you. Some other time, okay? Okay, I understand. I can tell you this much, though. Every time I lay down in prison and I think about everybody here in Port Charles, mainly you, I always thought about the simple things, you know, like what mommy was burning for dinner. <laughs> oh. Or what part you were playing in the school play. You see, that's what I want to hear about. I want to hear what you've been doing, huh? Well, let's see, um... I'm learning how to ride a horse. Well, you know, I used to be in the rodeo. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you can go with me sometime. Well, I'll have to saddle up real quick. Okay. Come see my riding boots. They are so gorgeous. They're made in England and everything. They're a present <clears throat> from Mom's and Catherine's friend. Mm -hmm. You know, he's from South America, this big polo player. Well, show me these here boots, young lady. Okay. What's this guy's name? Senior Claudio. Claudio Maldonado. Uh-huh. Anything. Wear anything, for goodness sake. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what a change. I guess you call that maturity, right? Uh, yeah. She just takes 20 minutes to decide what she's going to wear all the time. Yeah, I sort of noticed. Well, you know, pretty girls like that have to set their standards. Mm. I guess Tony's going to be home from the hospital soon. Yeah. You mind if I go over there with you? Oh, no. It's fine. Somebody called about you earlier. Scott Baldwin. He's a lawyer, and he's just left the DA's office, and 
He said that he'd handle your divorce if you wanted We don't need a lawyer, Anna. I just thought you ought to know he'd offered. There's nothing complicated about this. There's no property. I mean, there's not even a disagreement. It's you, you file the papers, you walk away. It isn't that simple, you know. You know, he's not such a bad person. When I first met him, we were on opposite sides, but he's really helped me It's a lot. paperwork, okay? We don't need a lawyer. This is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done, Frisco, and I think you ought to face it. You should just go over there and talk to him about things. I've got his address. Just give him a call. Just ask him. Just talk to him. Mom, I looked through my whole closet. Every, all my clothes are piled up on the bed. There's nothing to wear. Wear that. You look great. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's great. Okay. Well, we're going to Kelly's. Do you want to come? We're going to have lunch. Will you come? Please, please come. I would, but I have a meeting with a lawyer. A lawyer? What for? Never mind. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe you can come to lunch with us and then... We'll meet Cisco the at Tony's, all right? Okay. <sighs> Just a minute. I have to go get my purse, okay? Oh, yeah. Good. What is happening at Kelly's that's so important? Oh, I have no idea. I think she has a little friend down there. But, um, Kelly's helps keep her mind off things. Really? Or should have the same effect on me, huh? Thanks. I'll see you at Tony's. Good luck. Bye now. You want me to give you a hand there, lady? Oh, yes. Careful. Thank you very much. Frisco. Oh, this is great. This is really good. What the hell are you doing here? What are I you doing I've here? I guess I've got the wrong office. Yeah, you sure as hell do, no matter who you're looking for. I can't believe you. You have some nerve sneaking in behind... I wasn't Wait a minute, that was always your style, you. wasn't it? Yes, you were. Listen, I don't want to hear this. Well, what do you want to hear? You want me to congratulate you? Want me to tell you I'm really happy that you're still alive? Well, I'm not a liar and I'm not a hypocrite like you are. I don't care what you think. Oh, you're right. You don't care what I think, do you? Because if you did, you might have one little tiny piece of conscience that would turn up under that huge ego of yours. You know something? You seduced me. You seduced me not for love, that's for sure, and not even for sex. You just did it because you wanted to find out where Kevin had Terry, didn't you? I could have gone to prison because of you. You certainly haven't lost your charm. No, I... Oh, hey, hi, Baldwin. I don't like you already or the company you keep. Frisco, wait a minute. So, oh. now what have you done? Hey, Frisco, Frisco, wait up. Look, uh, I didn't know you and Lucy had any, any past history like that. And um, I, I want to help you through your... Look, I don't that... need a lawyer, okay? And secondly... I'm not going to deal with anybody that's involved with her. Wait, wait, listen. Lucy's not involved in my law practice. She was just up there helping me arrange the furniture. Now, this divorce is not going to be as simple as you think. And the best thing about me is I'm free. What's so complicated about this divorce? Well, you see, legally, you haven't got a claim. I mean, because legally, you're dead. Do I look dead to you? No. No, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, you look good. You could use a shave and a haircut. <laughs> Look, we've got to get the judge to agree that uh, the obvious here, you know, and, and as simple as that is, it could still take weeks, months. So what exactly would you do, Mr. Baldwin? The WSB has... I don't have anything to do dead, with the WSB. Get that straight right now. Well, then we'll go through the legal, just regular court channels, you know. Can you speed that up? I have a... Uh... I have some friends downtown, you know, I could uh, sort of call in a couple of markers and I, I think I can help you. Well, you do that. Just make it fast, quiet, and confidential. Just like that. See you around, take care of it. <laughs> Let them tell you. Well, I'm waiting to find out myself. You seen BJ? Yes. 
Yeah. He's so cute, isn't he? Yeah. Well, it's about time you guys were here. I thought this one was going to explode with excitement. <laughs> yeah, there's a baby I can adopt. <laughs> When well, when the baby's it? young. Yeah. It's unborn. Come on, oh, yeah. tell you everything. Yeah. Yeah. So what, is it a boy or a girl well, or what? Well, actually, there could be some problems there. There is a chance that the baby could be born with some medical problems. But Tony's talked to the attending physician, and they feel that because I'm a nurse, I'll be able to handle okay. it. So I just told Tony that he's on the hook for free medical advice for life. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> and I called the agency this afternoon, and I gave him a definite yes. Oh. Well, when is it going to be born? Well, in a few weeks, then I'll be able to take her home right away. You already knew it to her? Oh, well, no, no. actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a Tony's going to be a godfather. Yeah, you're going to be a godfather. <laughs> That's great, and you're going to make a lot of money on babysitting. We're moving forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go shopping. Have, what do you need? No, no, I, I have everything. to go, too, you know. I got I can take care of these details. So are you going to be decorated? Are you going to be disposable diapers? Oh, yeah.